Hi everyone, this is Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. Uh, today I'm going to do a little experiment. I guess it's almost a survival guide type uh, experiment to show you what you could do if you're ever uh, in need of a fire and don't have matches or a lighter. Uh, but the bigger picture here is the capability of the sun. And I think at times we forget how powerful it is. And what I'm going to show you with this ex experiment is, you know, essentially the amount of sun that's hitting my hand is, is capable of doing uh, some pretty amazing things. Um, and just for the record, today is the 20th of December, so we're one day away from being the shortest day of the year. So even though the sun is at the lowest angle it, could, it will possibly be here in New Jersey and the days are shorter, I'm still able to do, these, do this experiment under these conditions. So you can only imagine if it was hotter and summertime and the sun was at a, at a higher angle. So here we go. So here's your everyday water bottle. I've removed the plastic sticker around the outside. And it's no coincidence that the piece of paper I'm going to use to focus my light energy on is black. This is because we want to, to absorb the sunlight and not reflect it away. If you've done a good job focusing the light, you'll see smoke rather quickly. As the paper begins to burn, I move the focused light over ever so slightly to continue to heat up new paper. In less than a minute, I already have a burning spot large enough where I'm going to start thinking about covering it with some additional paper. By adding the paper, we'll, we will of course be adding some additional fuel, but more importantly, in the short term, we're using it to trap heat. At this point, adding additional air will help increase the intensity of the smoldering paper. And again, we continue to add more paper, which is more fuel and trapping more heat. At this point, it's obvious we've turned the corner and success is only moments away. And there's fire. That's exactly what this thing is doing right there. This does about 80% of our hot water just from the sun. Our sun provides enough energy in one minute to supply the world's energy needs for one year. In one day, it provides more energy than our current population would consume in 27 years. In fact, the amount of solar radiation striking the Earth over a three-day period 
is equivalent to the energy stored in all fossil energy sources. Want to learn more about renewable energy and sustainability? Contact me at njrenewableenergy.com.